Hey guys! Ah, okay. <laughs> I promised myself not to do those uh, unscripted vlogs anymore and not even an hour ago I was talking to Andy uh, and I was like, dude, I hated the time when I did all the vlogs and ah, I hate all my vlogs and stuffness and they destroyed my viewership because probably because for uh, half a year I did nothing but vlogs and I did one, uh, I did dozens of them. Uh, probably I'm not appearing in anybody of my subscribers' feeds anymore. Yay! So, uh, nevertheless. <laughs> I just saw the new episode of uh, Gravity Falls and I am just so... It was just awesome. Um, uh, I mean, it was again, how dark is this show? I mean, like, I, this is Evil Dead. I, talk, talking separated animal heads on the wall is creeping, is... is Evil dead creepy and they don't stop at this they they let them bleed out of their mouth out of their eyes Then we have the ghost whose first appearance is a burning skeleton <laughs> I just love it they, they ask they still have the charm going on of a more uh, childish show of a show more for children with, with the art style and some of the jokes, but at the same time, they go all in. They, they, I mean, the zombies at the beginning of the season are nothing compared to this episode. And, of course, the other big thing I cannot not address is uh, Pacifica. Uh, in the Gulf Wars video, I was, uh, when I actually put, uh, when, I, when I was doing the planned vlog and I was, uh, what, what I said back then was like, oh, okay, they give this kind of... Um, uh, feel that there is more to her character. They kind of show a hint of a deeper level of her, that there is death behind her. Um, and uh, I, I was a little bit disappointed back then because it was really only shown in the very last few seconds of the episode. And I was like, nah, if they do something with it, I would like it. If they did something with it and they did it, ah! So and, and and they didn't do it badly. They they they, they um, planted the seed episodes ago. Just they planted the seed and they, they didn't do anything with it. Which is, on the one hand, it's a very risky move because the episode itself, Gulf Wars, was just like, uh, okay, you tease us with something, but you don't go anywhere. And it was like, huh? I don't get it. In this episode it starts out really with from her point of view with her in this sucky situation with her parents and the bell ringing and stuff like this and you see how she's basically conditioned like Pavlov's dog so uh, holy crap but they, they they don't make her turn instantly they um, ma make it a, a progression they start out with this scene where we see her uh, in uh, company of her parents. We don't. We, we most of the time we see Pacifica as uh, uh, in her public space when there is a lot of people around and she has to act. She has to live a thing. But you never. So far, we never got to see the family uh, among themselves. And here we see it, and we see how much she suffers uh, uh, under uh, the um, uh, strict rules of her parents and how their par her parents treat her. And here we get to see it, and then we get back to Dipper, where she is the normal, when she get, tries to get Dipper, where she is her normal, mean self, and pretends to be like, oh, I don't want to be seen here with you. But the back and forth, and they, they go it, they, they make it really right, with um, going a step into the direction of showing that there's more to her, but not making her snap instantly and switching it instantly. She only really switches sides after... Uh, uh, pretty much two important things happen. First, she discovers uh, the um, the bad history of her family, which is the first thing, which is kind of like breaking her. You see her being broken. Okay, first Dipper. Dipper's insult. Because she was just connecting to him, and then uh, he... Uh, it wasn't even an insult, an, an insult in a way like, oh, you ass. It was really him speaking honestly his mind, which most of the time hurts more. 
people can call me names all the day, all day long. I don't give a thing about it. But something smaller, something a lot smaller, which is uh, would not even be centered. But uh, if it comes honestly and is, uh, uh, it can hurt so much more. And this was the case here. So she was on a social level. She got a giant slap in the face. Uh, then she discovered the uh, evil truth about her family, which was the second thing, and then a third thing. Well, I said two, but there are actually three things. And pretty much all goes to hell. It is a all or nothing situation. She really has this one point where she has to make a decision and based on the first two things that happen, she is able to do the right thing to resist her parents and uh, pull the lever. And <laughs> The fun thing is, after I watched this episode, uh, because somebody uh, Skyped me earlier, like, have you seen the new episode? And I'm like, I'm about to see it. Uh, see you in 20. And uh, that's probably him. And I watched it, and the first thing I wrote to him was like, is it bad that I already shipped those two? I mean, with Wendy, sure, I never had a problem with it, but I can totally see the point all the people make. I mean, everybody, keep in mind, the entirety of Gravity Falls happens during one summer uh, holiday. This is all one, all those three, two seasons so far are happening in one holiday, in one summer. This is still the one trip the Dipper twins took uh, for the summer vacation. Um, and so, yeah. And with those two, in, in season one, I would never have seen Pacifica as, first of all, a, a, a multi layered character. And also not as a possible love interest for Dipper. She was the antagonist foil for Mabel. But and now seeing this, those, those small moments where she is like out of uh, euphory, she really hugs him. She hugs him honestly and then she's like, can I pay you to pretend that this isn't happening? It's like, uh, it shows... Her inner conflict on a, a, a so amazing level. I, I just really love it. And like, yeah, and I want to see the, I want to I want to see more Pacifica and I want to to get them to, uh, to, to, to be I want them to get together because right now I fell in love with the character of Pacifica, which is with, with really the character as a design, not with the 12 year old animated girl. It, it, it really, with her as a character, I, I really, from a completely one-dimensional, uninteresting foil of a character, now she is, in one episode, she got turned into a full-grown character and a character I think is amazing. And her dynamic with Dipper is also interesting to watch and amazing to watch and I want to see more of this. I, I, I ship them. I want to see this happen now. Um, also, nice callback that McGunken is that there is this is feeling of continuity with him and uh, stuff like this. But I actually only wanted to address those two points, and I'm already talking for about eight, eight minutes. Uh, this video, as you can see, because you kind of found it, it is unlisted because I don't think that um, my majority of viewers is really interested in it. So good for you that you found it. Um, feel free to share it. I will not list it on my channel because. Uh, this is just, I, I will not put vlogs uh, in my uh, normal feed anymore. Or maybe I will create a new channel, uh, leave your suggestions down below, um, whatever you feel like. Uh, should I create a new channel you can subscribe to for the vlog shenanigans? I will not put any effort into, no title cards, no anything. It will really just be me. If I have to share something, I will not even dress up. This is... This is already my, my sleeping shirt, I, uh, because when I came home, uh, I, I just needed to get out of my work clothes, so I put on my sleeping shirt, so... This is a new standard you have to expect from vlogs. V not on my main channel, at least not listed, and me just being me, I don't know. If, if you want to see this, you can have it. Um, I. But I'll create a playlist for it. Uh, I will post it on Tumblr. Yay, Tumblr. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, go, go, I mean, you found it already. Congratulations. Leave your suggestion below. Should I make a new channel you can subscribe to? 
should I just put them on Tumblr or something? Whatever um, works best, I guess. Bye! <laughs> uh, this is me not having planned anything. I, I really just saw the episode. I was euphoric. and Also, don't expect me to do this for every episode of every show I watch. I really will only make those videos if I have something to say and I want to say it. I will not make this a regular thing for anything because this is what destroyed my spirit earlier in the middle of season 4 that I had the feeling that I have to do stuff like this and I don't want this anymore. Um, so those vlog uh, thingies, I will do them when I feel like it and when I have something to say. I will not make them on a regular basis. I will not take any notes while watching an episode. I really want to watch an episode um, for itself. And... Oh no, no, you know what? Screw this. Uh, screw what I said earlier. I put this uh, at you can see anyways, which is kind of redundant, which is stupid talking about stuff I haven't even done yet. I welcome to this video, which is actually published on my channel. Uh, because this will be the first and only one uh, of those vlog thingies I will post on my channel as a regular video. Um, the thing is still the same. Leave uh, your suggestions uh, down below how in which case or form you are interested in vlogs unlisted videos here which are in a separate playlist uh, which i publish on tumblr for example or i guess i could also tweet about them i'm not sure what really works best for you and the update what i would decide to do will be in this annotation here I will here in this annotation. I hopefully will re remind to. Uh, I remember to add. If not, somebody kick my ass because uh, here will be an annotation, or is for you guys, for me not, an annotation telling you how I decided to go about vlogs. There will either be a link to a new channel. There will be uh, in, simply an information like uh, screw you guys. Majority say it. Uh, Twitter is awesome, so I will just tweet about them. Twitter is a stupid idea for this because you miss it instantly. Tumblr is also a stupid idea, I believe. Patreon? <laughs> no, not really. Um, yeah, maybe you have a better idea. I'm not sure if I really want to make a new YouTube channel. I would prefer if you guys have an idea how to post them here but unlisted, but still make them accessible. Because um, posting them... Uh, 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 on a different channel has this thing that I cannot see comments on a video. I, I have to switch channels all the time and see like, oh, did somebody leave a comment on those other uh, channel? Oh yeah, they did. This is annoying. I want. To, I usually prefer to be uh, logged in in my one channel. That's also why I completely uh, suck at replying to comments on A My Opinion Counts. Um, so I would prefer having it listed here on the channel, but if the majority of you guys say create a new channel, I will create a new vlog channel, which is really just unscripted, unplanned. Uh, I feel like it vlogs. This is ANY saying see you soon, but not in vlog form. This will be the last vlog on this channel for unlisted or listed one for period of time. I don't know. Um, Announcement videos usually suck. Nobody wants to see announcement videos, so as long as it is not something like a editor call or something, you will not see me doing this anymore. Un unless you follow unsubscribed, uh, unlisted videos or other channels. And by this point, I just repeat myself in a very redundant manner, and this sucks, so I stop this video now.